Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, least toxic, most fun community in all gaming. Have you ever heard the term map control and just thought, well, obviously it means controlling the map. It's super simple, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you why that simple definition is wrong, how you should think about map control, and why it's important, and how to have more of it. But first, let me ask you a question. What champion do you think has the best control of the map when played well and in mid lane? Pike? Ari, Vex, or Twisted Fate? I'll give you my answer later in the video, and I think what I say there might surprise you. Back to map control. I'm going to build to a larger point that I'll show you several examples of throughout this video, and later on I'm going to give you a summary and I'll elaborate on some of the parts that I think are the most important. This video is going to be packed with information, so <laughs> feel free to rewind and take notes if necessary. Fun fact, I have actually taken notes on a game before. It's not something I do every video I've watched, but sometimes there's so much information packed um, that it's just coming at you too fast and you can't really digest it all. The first aspect of map control I want to talk about is the laning phase. This is the time where you have the least control of the map, but in some ways it's also one of the most important. Having a strong start is very important and there are going to be some times where map control becomes critical in certain areas that you really want to focus on as your laning. So you can see here we saw our entire red side jungle so the main areas of focus are really your jungle and the rivers. So right now we can see Jin Zhao has cleared most of his red side. We have a little bit of vision on the bottom side of the river. He's clearing the scuttle on the top side and he's cleared most of his blue side. He sort of did an abridged clear here so that way he can gank. Looks like he's kind of thinking about going to mid lane. So you want to have vision in your jungle to know if the enemy is stealing. We actually didn't set up any vision in our blue side jungle, which was a mistake on our part. It ended up working out okay and probably often does. There's not a ton of champions or a ton of matches that we're going to have to worry. You're going to have to worry a lot about jungle camps being stolen. You don't see that very often and I think it's an unfortunate thing because it's really huge to steal a jungle camp. Say you steal 100 gold from the enemy jungle. Well, you get 100 gold, and they also they don't get the 100 gold. So really, it's a 200 gold swing, and it's a lot bigger than people think. Not to mention if you can steal a red or a blue buff. So the enemy team uses map control. They get a good gank, and we should have been paying attention to that. If we had wards set up, so that way we understood what was going on in the river on the bottom side of the map, that doesn't happen, or at least it's a lot less likely to happen. Uh, so you really want to have good warding early on in the game, which we do not. Uh, so while this is going to be a video about map control, it doesn't mean we do it perfectly. And you only have two wards anyway, so you really can't ward everything yourself. Something to keep in mind that good warding early saves you from gank. So right now you can see while we have two wards there, which is a waste, we still have great vision, so we can see the entire river. So nobody's coming up or down that thing without us knowing. That is beautiful. What we really would want is one of those wards on the bottom side of the map, so that way we can see the river down there as well, and we don't have to worry about ganks. But Jin is able to pull off a nice gank. We get a kill. And so here you can see I'm trying to ward. My support says get out of there, and I get a little bit deep which was a mistake on my part, but at the same time, you, know, you can see me type my bad. At the same time, I knew I had backup there. I knew I had Jin able to come. So I was definitely a little bit deep. If I was probably a few more steps, maybe he lands that hook, I survive, and we get the kill. Try not to make the same mistake I did and be a little bit off, because if I can, if he hits me with the hook, but I can get my jump off, it's a lot better. So now you see we have good vision. What do I see right now? I see Vex coming down. I'm able to use my combo where I jump, use my second and third ability at the same time, my alt, and we get a pick right before dragon. So this is beautiful. And that's what good map control can do for you. I make a mistake, I come back, we have good vision, I see exactly where Vex is gonna be. They walk right through, and we're gonna be able to get a pick right away. And now we're gonna get dragon because of that. So you wanna keep that in mind as you're playing what wards you want and what kind of vision you want to see because you can only see certain parts of the map at certain times and you can't see the entire map for the entire game so what is the most important areas that you want to be able to see during the laning phase you want to be able to see the rivers 
if you can get a ward in one of their jungle, either side of their jungle, you don't need them on both, although that'd be great if you could, but one ward in their jungle, so that way you can know where the enemy jungle is, or at least have a sense he's not here, or, you know, not on one side or the other, that's very important. But you see we were able to use our vision to get a pick right before dragon and get dragon. So keep in mind, ward your river, you know, two wards, one on each side, so that way you can see it. If you can get one in their jungle, and that way you can prevent ganks on your side and not have to worry about you know, going down, kind of like I did actually, uh, but more specifically, just not dying to ganks from the enemy jungle. As we move further into the match, so right now we're still in the laning phase, so we still want to be warding the river extensively, or at least enough so that we can see it. So right now we're, okay, one more ward where theirs is on the top side of the map would be perfect. And then the, our bottom side of the map, so we don't even have a tower now. So Camille's very mobile, so it, it's nice that they can sort of get out of things, but they, they don't, unfortunately. And wards, I mean, in that case, I don't even know that a ward would have helped them because they were just so deep to the Aurelia. Um, and we go down again. So we have no clue what's happening on the bottom side of the map. We lost our tier one tower and the enemy basically controls it. Now we lost the top side, our top tower as well. We need to get something on their side. So coming to the mid lane is perfect. Actually, the most important tower to get is that tier one mid tower. It allows you so much more mobility and they're able to roam around the map. Um, so let's see what we got here. We got a little bit of bite. Oh, Lux has a good root there. Uh, so that worked out well. We're able to get a kill on them and let's see if we can get this tier one tower. It's gonna be tight. I don't think we're gonna get it, no. Uh, so right now we need to get their tier one towers. We've got dragon spawning in 45 seconds. That is gonna be another really critical piece. I think we did. I'm really trying to get this tower because it, it's so important. Right now, just because they have their towers, they have so much control of the map compared to us. It's crazy. Um, fortunately, we are able to get a pick on Aurelia just before Dragon. That'll make her a little bit late. And you can see, actually, I don't know if you saw, but our Lux has been pinging really well that they're going to Dragon. Our Jin Zhao is also pinging as well that he's coming. And what we're looking to do is just get one of them to make a mistake here. And that worked out great. So they walked right in the area where I could use my second ability. We can hit them. Jin uses his alt. Now Dragon's up, so we gotta be aware of it. I'm gonna take a little bit of that honey fruit. And now Lux is able to get, that was a great route by Lux. We're gonna be able to get two of them now. I get a double kill and I go down. That's okay, I was really trying to get Lux. Lux can reset and get back to the dragon really quickly, so if they all get out of there, it's just kind of a mess for us, and we're able to wipe them. Uh, so what we did there, that worked out perfect. We were able to, I hit my second ability, I was able to slow them down, get some good damage. Lux hits a beautiful root, and I'm able to get my alt off on them, and we're able to get dragon. The second and third areas of map control are tier one towers, dragon, and rift arrow. Hopefully you haven't lost a tier one tower before the first dragon, but often by the second dragon, someone will have lost at least one tower. At that point, it takes more wards to have vision of the map and know where the enemy is. Scuttles become more important, and the vision and wards in the enemy jungle are gonna be huge, so you can have an idea of where the enemy is. Some of the original river wards are less effective, although safer to place, the ones kind of on your side of the map. And then uh, you really want to get them on the enemy side because you can see where the jungle is pathing and then where the laners are as well. Ideally, before the first dragon and Rift Herald, you want to ward the one that you are not going to be taking so you know if the enemy is on it or not. Um, that way you can see if they're trading objectives, is, you know, somebody from their lane just trying to grab it while, you, you know, they're fighting for dragon. And this can allow you to get both of the objectives if the enemy isn't going for one of them. Then what you want to think about 
just before the second dragon spawns, you want to set a vision around the pit. So that way you can see if the enemy is positioning for a steal or if they're looking to collapse on you after you're taking the dragon and they're looking to take the objective and wipe your team. Okay, so here's an example where some good vision would really help us out and we have any clue what's happening. We'd be able to see what's going on with the dragon, what's going on with Jin and his alt right now, and we'd have a much better idea of what we were heading into there. We were all grouped there ready for a fight, and so we sort of had to go for it. The only thing we could see was that Aurelia wasn't in the fight. They were taking down Camille, which is actually fine. Her stun going through in a team fight can be kind of a wreck, and we really don't want to deal with it. Um, so we were able to fortunately win that team fight. We were able to get Dragon, and now we're going to be able to get Baron off of it as well. So it ended up working out really well for us, but you can see that the power of some good vision. Now that's a beautiful ward up there. We can see that Aurelia is coming, and this is getting dicey. Uh, I'm able to use stasis. All that really I was trying to do was delay that, and fortunately I'm able to live it. So that worked out good, and they came. If they had better vision of Baron, they probably would have known that that was going to be a mistake to do what they did. Uh, but fortunately, we were able to get Baron, get a couple of them, and now be in a good position to take down some towers. Okay, my pick for the best map control champion is Pike. His ability to quickly and constantly roam the map is unparalleled even to Twisted Fate. Once Twisted Fate uses his ultimate, he's much slower. Pike can go invisible constantly and be everywhere. He can stun, hook, and finish off fights like crazy. Comment why I'm wrong down below. At this point, wards become critical to know what's happening on the map. Good vision of the river, the enemy side of the jungle, can be the difference in winning or losing an entire game. I want to come back to my original point about what map control actually is when I say it. Map control is periodically controlling specific key important areas of the map for a specific amount of time. That sounds like a Webster's Dictionary. Dragon, Rift Herald, Baron, the river during the laning phase. You don't want to arbitrarily place wards or run around the map. You should know what areas you want to control and when you want to control them. And then give that area back to the enemy for a few minutes when it becomes unimportant to you. You can do this effectively with wards, pings, where you are on the map, and grouping with your team. If you made it to the end of this video, if you could do me a huge favor and like and subscribe because it lets me know that you like this type of content and that I can make and that I should be making more of it. Hopefully I see you on the rift. GG.